Today, we're gonna to talk about how to get out of the learning to code rabbit hole. Andrew asks, my biggest struggle with coding is me always going down the rabbit hole. I can't stop looking. Not knowing something keeps me distracted when I do a project. Working in JavaScript leads me to PHP or Python or design and I keep going. I need to learn how to stay focused. I think what you're struggling with is, and I think you have a really strong skill, which is you have a really strong sense of curiosity and that curiosity wants you to solve problems. I think you're also struggling with a little bit of imposter syndrome that you wanna solve all these problems the correct way the first time out. And so that leads you to search out different solutions. In other words, like how are the cool kids doing it? Um, and here's what I think you need to do. You need to stay focused on a stack. So let's imagine that you're going to Boston and you're gonna go pick the best Chinese restaurant in Boston. But you didn't ask anyone and you just walked down the street and you're wandering around and you're looking around and you're trying to figure out where you get to lunch. It sounds like to me is like you would look at every other door and then lunchtime would pass and dinner time would pass and you would never get around to the fact of actually ordering Chinese food. Or you could ask the concierge in the hotel that says, hey, pick the gourmet dumpling house and I'll get you a seat there. And so that's what you need is you need a coach or a mentor, someone that can tell you the things that you should study and they should tell you the places where you need to go and then you ignore the rest of the noise on the planet. So you're looking in hashtags on Twitter to find information, which is good, but it also leads you to a lot of rabbit holes or a lot of things you need to do. So what you need to do is pick a stack. Uh, and I'm gonna give you a recommendation on a stack that you should pick. And so what we teach at the Coder Foundry is the .NET stack. And the .NET stack is built by Microsoft and it consists of what we consider five things, which is C-sharp for full stack web dev, is C-sharp on the back end. We have a front end HTML bootstrap and your JavaScript that you already have been learning. And then we also have a database language called SQL. And so between you put all those together and that is the stack that you're gonna learn. Now the stack also consists of tools. So Visual Studio will be your main IDE or your integrated development environment. That's your debugger, that's your code editor. That's everything you need to do to write code. Now, here's what's cool about learning a stack is now you can focus that learning. So now you're at the Gourmet Dumpling King house and now you're just looking at the menu. What are the things on the menu that I wanna do? It's focused you into one box and you're standing in that box. Go deep on JavaScript, go deep into C-sharp, go deep into the tooling, debugging and all those kind of things and stay in that and build projects. Because here's what I think and I hope that you're doing this is that you're learning to code for one purpose and one reason only, is that because you want to get a job. I don't think you're working as a developer as you are right now. If you are, that's fine. But if you're trying to get a job, you need to focus on building a portfolio that you can show to an employer and towards a get a job. And I believe, and we've done this through years of study and through years of placing candidates to our school, is that portfolio must consist of a business full stack web dev project, which means it must at the front end, middle tier like in C sharp and a database back end and solve a business problem. So it's not gonna, you're not gonna win with a, with a JavaScript calculator or all these kind of fun side projects. You gotta have a real meaty professional level project to show someone in order to get that job. The quickest way there is to pick a stack and build it in that stack. What we're saying is build .NET applications because there are more jobs and opportunities for you to break into the industry with that than all the other stacks out there. Anyway, I hope that helps. Good luck and keep coding. If you like that, I've created five steps to getting your first job as a software developer. Go to coderfoundry.com slash job roadmap and we lay out the five steps necessary to get that first job as a software developer. And if you like this video, please subscribe to get more videos just like it.